Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, I am JB, a fourth year medical student of St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quasha Memorial. If you plan to mag-men or sumasagi sa isip mong mag-men school, wag. Joke lang. Go lang. Kung feeling mo kaya mo, sige, go! Pala decision ka pala eh. But how can you make your men's school life easier? Watch this video to find out. So in this vlog, some of my friends and I will share with you guys some of the things we wish we knew prior to medical school. Wala lang, baka lang, you know, maka-help. However, this video mainly applies to those na nasa pre-clinical years pa lang, which means na parang mga first year, second year, third year, even fourth year to some extent. Kasi yung mga nag-contribute for this video ay mga nasa pre-clinical years din. Siguro may makukuha ka pa rin kahit 5th year ka na or 4th year ka na. But you know, I'm warning you now ha. Huwag kang ma-expect masyado sisms. But before we continue to the video, I hope that you guys can like this video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get it. So let's start. Ako, I wish I knew na I don't need a stethoscope just yet. Parang syempre feeling-feeling ka ganyan. Pag nakapasok ang med school, first thing on the list is to get a stethoscope. Pero actually, when I was thinking about it, and I was very anxious na baka pagpasok mo ng med school, ikaw na lang walang step again. And some people do that. Parang it's more of like a gift to themselves once they get into medical school. So they buy themselves or they ask their parents or friends or, you know, Joe's if meron ka mga sana all na magpabili ng stethoscope, ganyan. But I wish I knew na hindi talaga kailangan kasi I didn't need that additional stress na parang hala, baka may stethoscope na yung mga kaibigan ko sa so wala. Ganon. Pero, hindi ko pala kailangan kasi mag-aaral ka lang book-based sa first few years mo in med school. Hi guys, I'm Alicia Perez, a second year medical student from the UP College of Medicine. So, before going to med school, I wish I knew that I should have developed better habits and not be a crammer because it's not good to be a crammer in med school, guys. So yeah, develop good time management skills as early as possible. Hi, I'm Ellie from St. Luke's College of Medicine. I wish I knew that studying medicine would take up a lot of your social battery. I mean, aside from the obvious that it takes up a lot of your time, energy, and money, um, I didn't expect how tiring all the SGDs, interviews, and reports would be. And as an introvert, I think that's what I struggle with in med school. But yeah, eventually you get used to it, I think. <laughs> Hi, I'm Derek Libadia. If there's something I wish I knew before going to med school, it will probably be the workload. Because it hits different talaga when you're really hitting the books or drinking coffee 24-7. So in order to catch up, I did trial and error to figure out the best way to retain as much information as possible. And in my case, mas madali sa akin doon to absorb information if I can see or visualize the concepts that are being taught to me. Sa totoo lang, it took me around four to six months when I was still a first-year medicine student to discover this. And this just shows na you really have to be patient when you're looking for the right learning method since it comes with experience when you want the right one for you. Hi everyone, I'm Janela Francisco, a first year medical student at the St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Kwasha Memorial. Okay, so one thing I wished I knew before going into med is that they weren't kidding when they said that there's a lot of things that you have to like study, sobrang information overload. But it's even more important to know that you have to keep what keeps you sane. So whether that's working out, reading a book, watching movies, or like talking to your friends, spending time with your family and friends. So yeah, I am at the golf course, keeping myself sane before I go to for a second sem. Hey guys, I'm Kali Flores, a second year medical student from the UP College of Medicine. So if there's one thing I wish I knew 
before I went to med school, it's that um, your undergraduate course doesn't really matter. So, I mean, if you really have the passion for medicine, any course would do. Kasi kakayanin mo talaga siya. I mean, dapat kayanin mo. So, aside from what they said, I would say na your values and character matter more than your pre-med. You know, as stellar people when we were in high school, before we entered college, I'm pretty sure that we were planning that, hala ako gusto ko mag med school in the future. So the way we chose our pre meds are in line with our plans. Na pupunta tayong med school. Hindi talaga essential or vital yung pagkakaroon ng traditional pre med going to med. Na sinabi ng Nikali. For me, yung college talaga is there for you to develop your skills, your talents, ganyan your interpersonal skills, ganyan, and other skills pa na maaaring might help you survive med school. Because you know, med school is tough not only because you memorize or you study a lot of things, but also you deal with a lot of people. Hello, I'm French, currently a third-year medical student from SLMCCM, William H. Porsche Memorial. One thing I wish I knew before I entered med school was that building a rapport is a must. You learn to do it with your patient, but you also need to do it with your batchmates. As an introverted, it was challenging for me, but I realized that you'll miss a lot in your med life if you won't be able to make it a couple of friends lang. When I was applying for med school, I always asked interviewers for one tip that they wanted me to know, and they always say that making friends would make your med life bearable because you'll get to hear stories of same struggles um, you can relate and you'll get that validation that you need throughout your journey hi i'm adri villanueva i'm from up college of medicine i wish i knew that you don't have to stress so much over finishing and learning every single little thing that med school will throw at you because that won't define if you'll be like a bad doctor like it's not a disservice to your patients or like I used to think kasi na, OMG, like, a future patient will suffer if I don't learn this. Like, kaya ikakastress ko yun. Pero, that's not really true. Just do what you can. Because what my mentor said was that, more than academics, it's really your soft skills that will better tell if you'll be a successful doctor in the future. So yeah, we have to hone those skills aside from just academics uh, in med school. So that we can, you know, become more holistic and well-rounded also. Hi, I'm Tisha Del Rosa, a second year medical student from St. Luke's College of Medicine. So before I entered med school, I was already haunted by the fact that it will take up so much of your time and you won't have a social life. While it is true, um, I wish I knew that you don't have to live and breathe medicine. Um, living your life outside of medicine is equally important. Like. Doing the things that you love will keep you sane and afloat in med school. So lastly, siguro, I wish I knew na we didn't need hard copies of books. Kasi I even asked my best friend before na ipasa sa akin yung mga books niya. Because books are really expensive, ha? Thankfully, nung mga na second year, third year na ako, I realized na parang, oh, you can actually get these books sa mga free... I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but like to other sources that you know might be free, you'll be able to find other places online. Na pwede mong pangkuna ng mga books. So, kung na bahala, kaya mo na yan, malaki ka na. So, there you have it. Sana naman ay may napulot kayong something dito sa video na to. Because these are the things we wish we knew. So, dapat ang isipin nyo na lang ay how to get into med school and hopefully yung mga tips na to will work for you and for everyone. Para syempre, less stress na rin kayo in med school. So, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye!